Welcome to ChartXGames.com daily newscast. If you enjoy today's video then please like, comment and subscribe. In today's news, Nintendo Switch gets the VR treatment. The innovative Nintendo Labo VR kit is coming for Nintendo Switch. The kit will allow cardboard-assisted VR games on the console. The kit will be available with three configurations. The starter set which comes with the VR goggles and the blaster kit. Expansion set 1 which comes with camera and elephant and expansion set 2 which comes with bird and wind pedal. The starter set is required for expansion sets 1 and 2. There are currently no details on what the games or apps actually are, however it shouldn't be expected that they will be anything like a full-fledged PSVR or Oculus Rift game. The Nintendo Labo VR kit will be available from the 12th of April. It appears that Cyberpunk 2077 is still a long way off. A new PlayStation published video titled Creating Cyberpunk has suggested that the finished product may still be years away. This comes after some recent news stories that the game will be at E3 this year and that a veteran CD Projekt Red developer who previously worked on The Witcher 3 had returned to the studio to help with the game. The video outlined some of the decisions made by the team including story details why they opted for first person over third and the ominous silence that ensued after the very first teaser six years ago. The new video is available to view on youtube.com slash PlayStation. Anthem's problems have finally been addressed. In a recent statement, Bioware, the developer of the recently released Epic have stated that a fix is coming next week. The developer claims to have identified the causes of the colossal failures that some players were experiencing. Some of these issues included power down crashes and PS4 OS desktop crashes. Amid some players' concerns, Bioware have stated that it is perfectly safe to manually power down the PS4 and restart. There were concerns that this could harm the PS4 hardware. After a thorough review of information collected over the past week, Electronic Arts has stated that no console were harmed due to the reported issues. Anthem has launched a very mixed reviews with some stating that while the game is epic in scope and style, it has been plagued by too many bugs, which for such a large game is just unacceptable. The patch is set to arrive sometime next week. That's it for our gaming news today. If you enjoyed this video then please leave a like rating and don't forget to comment. You could also hit subscribe if you want daily news videos like this. Go to chartxgames.com for more gaming news, reviews, articles and updates.